Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for November 19th, 2018. So, hey everyone, I hope you all had a fantastic weekend. And as we roll into this holiday week, there's a few things to consider. And we'll talk about them here. Remember, the purpose of these videos is not to uh, try and predict a direction for the market, just simply to lay out, to look at the charts objectively and see what those charts are telling us as far as support, resistance, and trend, and whether or not there are reasons for caution or bullishness or bearishness. So let's take a look here. In the Dow, as you can see, uh, first off, let me just say, holiday weeks are typically very, very difficult difficult weeks to trade. Monday and Tuesday could be relatively good days. So today and tomorrow could be relatively good days in the market for price action. Wednesday morning will likely get some kind of a gap up or gap down in the morning. And after that morning rush, be very prepared for the possibility that the market could just kind of die on the vine. Volume will shrink. Remember, Wednesday, the biggest travel day of the year. And it's fairly typical if you think about it. I mean, if you were going to, if you worked for a big firm, a hedge fund or something like that, um, and had vacation available, um, well, why not extend that vacation by taking it over a holiday and adding a few extra days to your time off? And so we can expect volumes to really kind of shrink and dry up pretty quickly this week. And don't be surprised to see some really light, choppy price action. Now, of course, any news event could change that up. You know, if we heard something about um, a, a China trade agreement, um, that would obviously be a game changer and the market could, you know, just take off like a rock. Anything is possible. But for the most part, um, barring something like that, you would expect volumes to be much, much lighter. Now, remember, um, markets are closed on Thursday. We only have a half a day trading on Friday, which happens to be Black Friday, where everyone is out shopping, um, uh, largely not focused on the market. And then that will carry through straight through to next week with Cyber Monday sales events and everybody focusing on that probably more than the market. At least typically that's been the case. We've had light and choppy volume during those days. And remember, if you're taking the holiday off, um, why not extend it straight through till Monday? So um, we could just see those light volumes occur during that period of time. Now, having said that, let's take a quick look at what's going on in these charts. If we take a look at the Dow, you can see we have, um, well, kind of an interesting situation here where we're, we held this support level, giving ourselves the opportunity to create a higher low and the potential of a bounce. We also have this inverted head and shoulders pattern showing up in the chart. So we have reasons for bullishness. Along the same lines, we have reasons to be a little bit careful. We're tucked up really tightly against this um, resistance level. And if we look a little higher, we have resistance right in here as well. And of course, right on up. Now, if I quickly switch over to a chart with some moving averages. You can see right there is that 50 day moving average. Okay, 50 day moving average right here that will likely provide some resistance to the market. So we've got some work here to do. A lot of technical damage needs to be repaired. So don't just blindly rush into this market uh, particularly this week where volumes could be really difficult uh, for stocks to really follow through. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, very much uh, the same situation where we've got the beginnings of a possible uptrend. Buyers stepping in here at price support, that price support holding on, but we have a very significant level of resistance right here above. And if we look at our moving average chart, you'll see that that resistance level happens to correspond directly with a declining 50-day moving average. 
um, notice right here that the 34 exponential moving average could quickly cross down through the 200. We've just got a lot of technical damage here that has to be repaired. And on a light volume week, such as a holiday week, unless we get some kind of major news event, I would not expect this to just get ripping in one direction or another. Anything is possible, but we will have to watch and wait. Now, my biggest concern in the market right now is the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ has really struggled here. And as you can see, the NASDAQ's pulled back. We found a little price support right in here. And if I pull that up, back across here, you can see there is some longer term levels right in here trying to hold that NASDAQ in place. But we have some issues as well. Now, this constitutes a higher low bullish engulfing candle following through a little bit on um, Friday just kind of hanging out here at support but we're not seeing a, <clears throat> a tremendous amount of strength here keep in mind we have significant levels of resistance above and here's my biggest concern when it comes to the Nasdaq um, we have the 34 exponential crossing down through that uh, 200 day moving average we have the 50 diving off here pretty quickly. So there's some trouble here in this chart for sure and for certain, and we'll have to watch this zone. As a matter of fact, if I were to draw a trend line across these last two highs, notice we run into that resistance right in here. So even if we do get a rally, we wanna watch those resistance levels and the NASDAQ would be the most susceptible to a major failure if the NASDAQ were to, if sellers were to take over here and drop down below this low, well, we can pretty much expect a retest at that point of the, uh, of the market lows. And that would likely drag the rest of the market lower. So be careful and stay kind of focused here to the price action on the queues. It's right at that point where we, it could hold up bullishly or it could fall apart bearishly. So keep an eye on that. Let's take a look at IWM. Poor IWM is just plain sick. It's been sick for a long time and still has a lot of sickness going on here but there are bullish things here as well once again that inverted head and shoulders pattern that higher low right in here providing us with that opportunity that we could begin a a new uptrend here but let's keep in mind overall that there there's a lot of technical damage here in this chart friday we closed tucked right up against this price resistance no signs of wanting to pop through there this morning. Uh, futures are pointing to a lower open. And we have another major level of resistance right in the, ch in the chart right there. So watch those levels. If we take a look at those moving averages, notice we've already got that. It's a real nasty term for this, but they call it the death cross. The 50 crossing down through the 200, certainly not a bullish sign. And um, going to provide a significant challenge for IWM to rally back up. The small caps took it really hard in this sell-off and it'll take some time for that to recover. So I would not be at all surprised to see this week be kind of a light choppy sideways uh, sideways week and just hopefully building a base where we can move from um, next week. But let's watch it close. Anything is possible. Then we have to be prepared for just about anything. Let's take a quick look at the VIX. The old VIX. <clears throat> just a second. There we go. The old VIX um, setting right here on this price support level. Pulled back, stopped Friday, holding right there. This morning we're getting a little pullback in the futures this morning. Um, honestly, which is a little bit of a surprise that we're seeing the futures showing this kind of weakness this morning, just simply because um, uh, Asian markets and European markets are all higher this morning. But if we take a look at this, you can see sitting right here on this support level, what we'd like to see is this drop back down into this more this much more major support level that actually transfers way back over here but this morning with the morning drop 
um, that we're seeing, we could see this catch just a little bit of support in here and the VIX rally up. We don't want to see that fear really creeping into this market much though. Um, let's, uh, let me also draw this out. This is kind of an important pattern, I think. Right in here, if we connect these hot highs up, we're getting that descending wedge pattern or descending triangle pattern here. We need to see this break down, but we could easily see this continue to wind up and tighten um, that pattern significantly, significantly before it either breaks higher or breaks lower. So watch that. Let's take a quick look at T2122. T2122, that four week new high, new low ratio. And you can see T2122, um, a really sharp rally here. We, you know, remember we, we rallied up um, over 2,000 points at Dow points in just nine days. And then that, that pullback that happened um, last week shouldn't have been a really big surprise just because we had risen so quickly so fast and now here we are we're kind of parked around this mid area in t2122 and all that really means for us is that we have plenty of room for an upside move if the bulls decide to take over and, and really get going we have plenty of upside potential but we also have to recognize the fact that we have plenty of downside in here as well so kind of all depends on who takes control here this week and if we can really get pushing in one direction or, or another so be careful and just um, plan this week to be pretty choppy plot price action and not much going on um, um, after about Wednesday morning. Let's take a look here on the economic calendar as you can see on the economic calendar we have a, a a relatively light day today um, in the calendar nothing major to really move the market around here except the housing market number coming out at 10 o'clock this morning got a couple fed speakers in there uh, you know three spe fed speakers in here but uh, unlikely that they're going to do much to move the market around tuesday we have the housing starts that's a big number and then we have several important reports on wednesday morning and that's where we could get that morning rush that morning pop but then keep in mind Thursday is closed. Friday is only a partial day of trading. And then, uh, of course, Cyber Monday um, can also be a challenging day to trade. Um, on the earnings calendar, we had about 66 companies reporting earnings this morning. I did see AABA um, was on that list this morning to report um, ABA is kind of the little sister to uh, Baba. Um, it's really the remnants, the leftovers of Yahoo. But as you can see, it's um, it was trying to break out of this base this morning. I don't know if it's reported yet. We're just kind of parked right in this range. May not get much activity here on that chart. The other one, it's kind of notable this morning was JD, um, JD trying to build this base, but it looks like they've reported poorly. We're moving back down here to the lows, so kind of keep an eye on that. So as we as I uh, close up this video right now, uh, futures are pointing to about an 87 point decline um, in the open of the Dow. So we want to watch that closely. Hey everyone, if this is the first time you've seen these videos please do me a favor click that subscribe button on YouTube the follow me button on Facebook click those thumbs up buttons and drop a comment and by the way I want to say a great big thank you to everyone out there that have been taking the time to click that thumbs up button and write a comment it is showing dramatic improvement in um, how those algorithms are showing these videos to more people so I want to say thank you very much to that remember I don't intend to make money from these videos at all um, this is just to help other traders do better with their trading so if you can please continue to click those thumbs up buttons and drop those comments um, it really does help and thank you very much for those of you who do that it makes a huge difference also let's take a look here now that we've gotten through this part of the let's take a look at some trades that you may want to put on your list um last friday i bought coca-cola i really like this chart coca-cola breaking out if we look at a weekly there's that big 
breakout going on here that really nice move on this daily chart you can see we moved up consolidated a little bit put in a nice candle to um, move that higher that's looking really good some of the defensive plays right now are some of the best places to be the market's a little bit nervous and we're looking at that defensive sector another one would be pepsico pepsico really nice trend has a great pattern here the reason i didn't choose pepsico though is simply because it still has to work through this resistance level here on the weekly where coke had already broken out of that but that is a really nice pattern showing energy could easily pop out of there soon something to keep an eye on for sure um verizon another kind of defensive type play um really nice trending stock here popping up looking good um, don't be surprised if this rests a little bit the next few days but that is looking pretty positive and one that should be on your list another defensive sector stock mdlz mdlz breaking this long downtrend that downtrend has been tested as with uh, as support buyers have stepped in here mdlz could be one of those places that we could catch one of those rallies with a defensive play so everyone i hope you got something out of this today i hope um, 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 you have an awesome awesome day for your trading thank you for all your help and support i do appreciate that and i will talk to you bright and early tuesday morning and by the way if you're heading out early this week if you're going to be taking that vacation i want to wish you a um, safe travel i want to wish you a fantastic holiday with friends and family take care of yourselves and we'll see you back here very very soon take care everyone